Hello there, Internet. My name is White Dragons, and welcome back to the Ferret Business. Found on the Feed the Beast launcher, located in the third party mod pack. Today is a very special day. Today, we look at our quest book because we've got some questing to take care of. Also, including, I've also turned in a couple of quests, which act, which pretty much opened more quests. Yeah, so, uh, this is the armor so far that I've been able to make. <clears throat> some of it I've worn, some of it I haven't. Um, I'm trying to get the head and the boots of Chainmail, probably from the dungeon. The dungeon, I've reached level 3, and until I can get some better armor, I'm not going to be able to do anything in there. So, what I did was, is I went back and I said, okay, I need to go ahead and get some quests done, because this is... Okay, this is really irritating because I can't get past these monsters. So the first thing I did was is I was actually able to get an Ender Pearl finally. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, claim my reward. Is it that bad outside? Really? Can you calm down? Let's just fix that real quick. Weather will drop that down to 4%. Alrighty. So, uh, I was thinking to myself, you know, reward bag, uh, coin bags, I don't really know. Um, why is this still so loud? Why is this still so loud, people? Weather's down. Ambient environment, maybe? It's really weird that it's still loud. Uh, so, I also went mining and I found. Where is it at? There it is. We need one of these. And I believe. What was the other thing we needed? Uh. Oh, we need two. Okay, hold on. Let me grab another one of those. So, I've been doing a lot of mining, if you haven't noticed. I also found a way to use a, uh, not an automated miner, but a miner. I'll just show you. I think it's as easy if I just show you. Whoops. Oh. oh, there it is. So, it's in progressive automation, and you make a wooden... Really? Okay. You make a wooden miner okay and then you can get upgrades for the wooden miner and it'll do a large range filler upgrade what the hell make the miner fill in area air and fill fluid blocks while mining oh i didn't know that anyways you can upgrade it to a stone miner you can upgrade it to an iron miner and the way you just upgrade is with stone stone pickaxe and then again iron iron block with the stone miner in the middle and iron. This is where I've gotten it to. Okay? And I pretty much stopped because... Digital miner? Oh my goodness. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. But this is the one I've been using. And basically its interface is pretty easy, pretty cool. Uh, and I did put add some range... range um, upgrades to it. So let's manually submit this. So, like I said before, I'm sitting here trying to figure out which one I'm going to get started going for, reward bags or coins, and I turned in this quest, which required 10 coins, and I get a voucher, and then it just opened up all of this. But, when I did that, it also opened up supply contracts. So, let's talk about supply contracts. God. Um, let's turn weather off all the way. Wow. Is there like something doing that? Huh, okay. Let's try it again. No. Oh, wow. Okay, that was big. I'm glad everything is made out of stone. Okay, what the hell was that? Is anything on fire? Doesn't look like it. 
Let's check upstairs real quick. Whoa. I don't see anything. What is that? I don't see anything on fire. Well, if it was on fire, it's raining, so it really doesn't matter, does it? Because the rain will put out the fire. I should have thought about that. Alright, so let's go back to what we were doing. Uh, so, this is the a guide contracts. Uh, whether it's materials or pr production, or products, sorry, the ferret business is always in need of them in massive quantities. We have stores and distributions or distributors all over the place. And we need to steady supply to meet the demand. So we have a standard listing of contracts. Contracts cover all manner of things we accept. The simplest contracts are supply contracts, which cover basic materials like metal and seeds. There are also production contracts, which cover anything you can mass produce, from materials like furniture, toys, or even RF energy. But to fill in any of these contracts, you need to start by making shipping crates. Surround a silver coin in a, any wooden planks to get 64 serviceable shipping crates. No, once you crate something, you cannot uncrate it. I will give you 64 crates for free along with the guidebook. If you need the book again, you'll have to wait a week. So we're going to go ahead and claim our reward. And this is temporary automation. And I'm not 100% sure how I got this one. So right now we're working on a way to get you a machine that will let you automatically fulfill contracts without having to open your quest tablet. The machinists here are working on a design we think you'll like. But for now, I think we can utilize a temporary solution. The Ender.io SAG mill is pretty close to what we want. Put any supply crate into your SAG mill. As it expands energy, it will instead teleport the crate to us and will teleport back the appropriate payment. So we get a SAG mill plus we get a stone trader chit. Now the thing is, is I don't see stone up here so what good is that but we get a free sag mill so i'm like i'm gonna go for it because it's a free sag mill obviously and these are production contracts and these are all the things that we can make which is really weird headhunter your world is full of wide manner of unique strange and dangerous creatures a lot of these creatures some folks we deal with in the business would be quite interested in having some sort of trophy from them to put a blunt point uh to put to put ugh, to point a blunt to put a blunt point on it they want their heads mounted over their fireplaces but eight of them in put eight of them into a con crate and send them over so it doesn't really matter what i put in there and again i get this stone trader shit i don't know what the hell i'm supposed to do with this thing because, again, there's no... Unless it's in General Store. Nope. No. I don't... I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with it. Armament? No. Hmm. You can see there's... Okay. This... I, I'm just... I'm, I'm trying to go over this. Fulfilling contract successfully earns you trader cheat. Chits. Chits, chites, whatever. By combining two of them, uh, by combining two of the same value, you get a larger chit. The larger the, the chit you redeem, the more value it has. Four bronze, eight chits are worthless, <clears throat> or worth less than a single uh, silver chit. Four silver chits are worth less than a single titanium chit, and so on. So, in order for us to get the bronze. What do we have to do? I don't... I don't fully... I mean, be, oh, you know what? Hold on. Now that I'm thinking about it, it could be in the book here. I should have known better. Alright, so... Here we go. Uh, the Ferret Business Contract Fulfillment Guide. Getting started. Okay, so we know about this. Then fill a crate with the materials or products. Just be like that. Uh, supply contracts cover simple materials. You can earn more money by making a factory and compiling production contracts. Ship the field contract via your quest tablet 
for money and trade chips. Uh, coming soon, a way to automatically fill contracts without the quest tablet. The more you trade, the more the trade chips you earn. Combine them into increasing values and turn them into money. Plus one rank, two silver. The rest of this book shows all contracts. Okay. So... Toy and furniture. Com common metal crates. Two iron ingots? It's not bad. Uh, block, okay. Aluminum. Uncommon material. Two yellow, right? That might be easy. Pre precious material? Wow. Seed supply. Vanilla seeds. Witchery seeds. These are examples you can use. Okay. Cheap plant crates. Okay. Grass. Saplings. Hey. Uh... Headhunter, evil twin head crate, any three player heads, creature head crate, any eight creatures heads, okay, cool. Ancient staff, no knowledge on that. Furniture supply, huh, okay, okay, that's cool. I believe that's it. Uh oh. Hello there, internet, my name is White Dragons, and welcome back to the ferret business. Uh, hopefully I've connected this to the other video that where I crashed our, our game. And after that, I pretty much went on a pissed off streak and did some things off camera. Uh, what happened was, is one of the books, if you go past page eight, will crash your game. Uh, it is, which one was it? The ferret something, I can't, the ferret composition for a ferret guide to, uh, I can't remember what it is now. I'm, I'm so I was so angry with it, I uh, I I don't even want to remember what it was. Uh, let's go back and look real quick. Uh, I think it was in the general store. No. No. Was it in hardware store? No. Armaments. No. No, I know it wasn't in that one. Supply contracts. This one. No, it wasn't this one. It was this one. Yeah, this book right here, the Fair Business Contract Guide. Do not go past page 8. It will mess you up. So, uh, when we last left off, we were busy trying to complete that, and we completed it. And then we have all this stuff that's really repeat a lot of repeatables, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but I'm going to go back up to the top and finish off initial research. Uh, I got an Ender Pearl. Yay! And, of course, I got the Redstone. So we can go ahead and collect. And I'm going to go ahead and claim... Uh, a blind bag. A blind bag. Wait, did I already claim it? Claim reward. <laughs> Won't you let me claim reward? Did I already claim it? It's saying unlocks one quest elsewhere. I I've done everything you wanted me to do. Please, please. Oh wait, do I have room? <gasps> I don't have room. Oh well, thank goodness, cause. And the old hardcore questing ones, it would, uh, it would accept it, but then it would take it away from you. So we're just gonna dump these seeds. As you can see, I've been quite busy collecting seeds, even some ender plant seeds, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. Uh, let's get rid of all this. That's a seed. That's a flower. That's a seed. Okay, and then we dump the flowers in here. Yeah, flowers in here. So that'll give us a little bit of room to work with. Uh, we'll dump the egg. The egg. I, I got a chicken from the ocean, which is, sounds kind of weird, but uh, yeah, that sounds weird. This is the progressive automation wrench, which really works with almost anything. Uh, I really like all these wrenches because they just kind of like work. I was having some issues with like these guys right here um, for some reason. I don't know, and I couldn't make a I couldn't get anything to work, and then I found out later on it was because I was using this. And I'm not really supposed to use that for really anything. So let me go put this up. Uh, I was really trying to make the thermal expansion one. For some reason, I thought, hey, this is the right one, and lo and behold, it wasn't. So we're going to put... Oh, okay. Well, I can't put it down there. So I'll just put it right here on this... Um, okay. No, give me that back. And I'll just put it on here. There we go. All right, so that's out of the way. Uh, and then we'll go over what I've been doing off camera to uh, to to let you guys see what's been going on. 
So, uh, you pick this up from Mystical Powder, I believe it's from the Enderman. Not 100% sure, but it could be, I think I'm right. Alright, so, we can claim our reward. Yeah, hey, there we go. Uh, I found, uh, Osminion, I, I guess that's what it's called. I found this while digging around level 38 and 40. So that's where I found this one. I could be separate, it could be somewhere else in your world, but that's where it was in mine. So I'm claiming the, the rewards bags uh, because uh, we've got a lot of coin, and there was something in there in here for coins. Uh, the only thing I was missing was the Certs Quartz Crystal. I thought this was supposed to be Charged Certs Quartz Crystal. It's just regular Quartz Crystal, so we can go ahead and get that. And then this one is going to take a little time because I've got to learn how to use a make a burst plant and a lightning plant. So other than that, that's it. This is the only one left. So we're at 94%, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the general store is what I was talking about earlier. Uh, unlocks one quest elsewhere. So we can turn in 10 of these to get one voucher. And then if we turn in 50, we can get five vouchers. So you can turn in a higher rate to get 50. How many do you, can you get for So yeah, if you got a lot of coin, you can just like dump it. And, and I think this is to help not crash your game. Uh, so, and then the bag one is, is you can bag it up. Um, I don't know if, do they, see these don't get reputation, so it's not really necessary. And then you got the blind repeatables, which is requires 25 vouchers, and you get a shop loyalty of plus one. If you go back, shop loyalty, we are sitting at wood tier. So in order for us to get to stone tier, we need 50 shop loyalty. Yes, that's how many times I've died. Why have I died this many times? Because of the freaking dungeon! Pain in my ass is what it is. So, oh, god dang it. So let's go... Let's go down supply contracts. We pretty much have to work on that. We have to automate that. Uh, this is the turn in quest one to get the stone trader uh, seed supplement. Uh, any seed supposedly. This contract calls for six seed supply contracts. So you need six crates, and you'll get five coin and two stone tr uh, trader ch chits. Chits, not shit. Chits. Make sure I say that right. Uh, these plants may be on to see the grand amount of plant life in your world. Many researchers will be happy to have you supply them with uh, your local fauna. This contract calls for two cheap plant supplies. So we need two, so it would be flowers. And we get one coin and one chit. Okay. Alright, so researchology basically is the items that we pick up off of the off these monsters. How much does that give us? Job title plus five. Wow. And we get a rewards bag. And we only need to give them 20. So that's something of interest we may be working on later on. Uh, exploring your world. I haven't really done hardly anything in that. We've got the simple jetpacks. Biomes of Plenty. Uh, Naturo. Uh, warp Book. We've been working on Morph. I need clouds, but I need to fly in order to get that. Uh, Road-like dungeons we've been working on. I have not broken these spawners. I don't know what Lundeman is. Uh, you can find Lundeman fairly common inside large row like dungeons. You should also send three broken monster spawners. So we may do that one today because we've got I've got it pretty much taken care of. Dense ores, I know where one of these is at. I just need Silky Touch to get it. The nether ores, uh, I gotta go to the nether for that one. Uh, backpacks, I need uh, leather for this one. And then we've completed the toolbox one already. So that one's out of the way. Building your home, we've already done the carpenter's blocks, and of course you've got all this other crap. Now, I have not made the garage door yet, because I'm trying to see, I don't understand this. It's a good blind bag, basic blind bag, or 25 silver coin. That's pretty interesting. I don't understand why they would give us the good blind bag, that's the one good blind bag. Little old, a little new, this is uh, Malice's doors. Uh, this stuff is not complicated, but I don't have the resources for it right now. Chisel, this is requires concrete. This one requires... Uh, have I already done this one? Oh, I already did this one. Oh, I mined this up. That's right. Okay, so I'm just going to go for the reward bag. And purple fantasy block. Hmm. Surrounding a gold nugget with stone gets you this white marble and gold inland block. Great for uh, 
price princelessly princelessly ca castles okay I don't know if I can do that one Be by smelting gravel you can make concrete this is a fantastic oh actually I can make that easy do I get re how much reward do we get job title plus 35 that's awesome uh, we've already completed these of course uh, these are big business what sign candy potions barrel red Ooh, safe Test with the player needs specific items. How many do we need? One, 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 one. Huh. Uh, Eye-catching displays and tools of the trade are standard fare for business. What better way to show people what you sell than big by big signs? Hmm, interesting. So this is a lot of the a lot of the stuff that I want to do maybe on the side because it looks like what it does is it gives you job title, and job title uh, looks like it helps you with research maybe, maybe head assistant. I don't know. I haven't done anything with trade rank, so oh God, I keep forgetting it's not right button, it's left button. Alright, uh, so we've got strength in the blood, meteoric power, crystal essence. I'm trying to get back into where we were, so many tools. Uh, the power of steam, complexity matrix. So all this stuff really opened up a lot of it, and I've been trying to go through it and trying to figure out what I want to do, because a lot of this, a lot of some, uh, there's some items that are still locked. And I believe if I, like, DecoCraft, for example, there's still some things in DecoCraft, I think, that are still locked. But, like, uh, Magical Flowers. Magical Flowers has Patania. So as soon as I collect all of these, and I only need one of each, uh, Patania will open up, and I believe this will open up a lot more. A bit of, the, of this and that is uh, to invent some extra utilities. So we need cobblestone, we need five. So uh, extra utilities I really love, so I'm thinking about getting into that one. Then you have conduit machinery. Uh, this is uh, pleasant. Uh, this is uh, what is this for? Is this for Ender IO? Yeah, this is for Ender IO. So you know, there's that one. That's pretty awesome. Machine life, I think, is lo oh no, machine life is open. Compact machines. Oh, okay. Here we go. What every machinist, good or bad, realizes really quick is that just you, you is you just don't have the space for all your tools and machines. Sure, you can be a bigger shop, a second shop, a fifth shop. An aircraft hangar, an entire apartment building, even, but it still just won't be enough space. Plus, if you get yourself a huge space, you still have to wire everything up and worry about zoning permits and where uh, where was I? All right, well, uh, we like to employ something we we call Meeks Meek, Meek, Meek's law. The potential of effectiveness of any factory or machine increases as its footprint decreases, which means the smaller you make it, the more efficient it can become. And what better way to make something super effective than by shrinking them down? These two are the basics of making super compact machines. They are kind of like caterpillar, caterpillar, caterpillar. I can't say it. Wow. Capacitators and coils. They don't really do much until you put them on into a machine. So I, this may be the one that is for compact machines, which would be super cool. I would really love to do that. Um, the automation station. Uh, this one opened up automatically for me because I made the wrench. And uh, I also had the fuel pellets made. And I also made the wrench. And then that's what opened that up. By the way, what does this cover? Job title. Okay. And then you have MFR, Mine Factory Reloaded. I do not have any rubber bars right now because I'm just lazy, I guess. So we're going to get to that one. But I love how the progressive automation and the MFR are all attached together, which is pretty cool. Soul Food blank still I, there's something I'm missing red world blank still missing something uh, computual matrix blank still missing air power is locked I think that's the one that's for the that we need to unlock to complete the power of Steve is still locked so many tools still locked the power of the red still locked crystal of essence still locked metric power still locked I'm just going down the list here so you guys can see Strength of blood, power and industry still locked up. The cauldron bubble still locked. Farm industry still locked. The birds and the bees are still locked. Potluck! Uh, it actually has two, but I don't know what these are. Icon, purple, Roman. I. It doesn't have an actual quest, so this may be something that's being worked on. And of course, this is to uh, fix when you have an update to fix it. So that you have the same amount of coin and you can uh, have the same amount of reputation. Uh, but I don't need it because we're, you know, we're not 
we've already done our update by redoing the world. So this is the one that's still locked, I think, that I need for the air or something. So, yeah. So I'm going to be looking through that, figuring out which one I want to do. But until then, it's nighttime, actually. Let us go to sleep. Take a siesta. Go to sleep. Thank you. Ooh, man, that's a lot of work, huh? All right. And then let's get started with today's... Oh, I'll take that back, please. Give me that back. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Give that back. And you, down we go. I'm going to put a, a player sensor on that eventually. Uh, so not very much has changed here. Uh, I haven't done hard a lot of... Ooh, okay, that was some bad stuff outside. I haven't done a lot of... Um, gardening because eventually this will be turning to automation and I don't want to really waste a lot of time here uh, because late like I said later on this will be turning into an automation facility uh, so there is that um, let's go outside and first thing right off the bat it looks like we're going to take care of a creeper my sword has increased um, I don't know why this skeleton is still alive I have, uh, I've gotten sharpness on it. It must be because he's in the web. Yep, he was in the web, still alive, okay. And, uh, I have removed our, there it is. See, this is the stuff that creepers drop. Mystic powder. Mystic powder. I've removed the sheep from here, and I have placed them inside a barn. And I used the chisel, this is like my second chisel now, um, to make the cobblestone... Uh, black frequency and the cobblestone red frequency the cobblestone white stone, which is pretty nice uh, The chicken is not going to stay here. The chicken is actually going to be moved to this area uh, This will be the chicken coop um, I don't know why what we can not why but what, what we can do to make it better, but uh for now. I've got one chicken and uh, Oh god, I hate that. Let me switch over. There we go And for now he's uh He's working for me. He's spitting out an egg and making life a little better for me. So, bring me babies. Uh, so let's go down to the dungeon. Take a look at what I've done with the dungeon. Uh, again, like I stated before, the dungeon kind of messed me up really bad. Dying as many times as I have, uh, kind of, you know, psychologically messed with me. To be honest with you, it's like, damn it, why can't I kill these guys? Ow. So as you can see, I have pretty much blocked up most of all the spawners with torches. This stops them from spawning, of course. And uh, I haven't touched really anything in the the uh, chest except for uh, torches, which was the important thing for me, was the torches. I needed the torches. I haven't even touched the cake. Look at that. The cake hasn't even been touched. Uh, and this was, of course, first level, so there's a lot of crap. That could have gone extremely wrong. That did. So some pants. I don't know why they why they thought this was a good idea. For the dungeon. But you know, whatever. Gosh, got some of the stuff in here. And then of course we can go down to the second layer. This is our second level. We worked really hard on. Uh, a lot of this a lot of the armor I had is now gone destroyed basically due to this uh, there's a head which is pretty cool i think there's a there'll be a quest later on for that there's some more heads and then you have a chest with another head so you I mean, you got some heads down here skeleton spawner see the interesting thing is to see this skeleton it doesn't have any armor on him but there's skeletons there was a skeleton spawner that had like I'm also looking for something specific. I'm looking for that potion thing that they keep talking about in one of the in one of the quests. Uh, oh, wait, is that it? That's it. Okay, that's one of them. All right, so I need a skeleton spawner. I'm gonna finish. We're gonna kill this. Oh god, dang it! I left my pickup top, didn't I? I don't think this is gonna count. Don't I? Didn't I see it picking here? I don't really. I just need the skeleton. Hey, uh, there's. Hey, how did you? 
Why are you still here? Is it? Okay, that's interesting. You're not supposed to do that. Wow, it was that dark. Just that little darkness. Wow, okay. What is this? Unknown dim light. Put this unknown dim light in the dim light research to discover the purpose. Ooh, there's another head, too. Grum's head. What is this? Ten ingot. Oh, ten ingot. That's cool. Um. Darn it. Okay, well, I'll, we'll just we'll just look at this place. See, like this guy, this zombie guy, the zombie spawner. It has a zombie uh, armor in it, so I know things are gonna drop. Jesus, there's a lot of heads here. Uh, I know that they'll drop armor, and that the what is? I don't understand what this is here for. But I don't know how much, you know. And there's no crafting table here. All these chests are empty. They've got hoppers attached to them, which is cool. Uh, sword. There's some. There's some leather, but I need more than that. The safari net will become useful because um, I've got to figure out how to make spawners because I need a mob farm. I need mob farms to get the clay that you can get off these guys. So I can start turning in contract quests. This is not me. This is what it was when I when I looked at it. There's a head there. Toby Turner's head. Look at there. Cool. I got Toby's head. Yay. I'm excited. Okay, don't go that way. Go this way. Alright, so we're going to go down to the third floor. And this is the floor I'm concerned about. Because... Hold on, let me hit S7 real quick. Nope. Okay, nothing. This is the floor I'm concerned about because this floor whoops my ass. It whoops my ass pretty good. Whoa, there's no torch here. Okay, that was weird. That's not supposed to do that. Okay, another skeleton. So we're starting to get into more skeletons. Look at this. Tundra Spectre. High damage, charge up, place places oozes. Ha! That is so cool. I don't know how that would exactly work for me, but that would be so cool. Okay, where the hell is the stairs? This is ridiculous. I know there's stairs here. But go down. There's the... Okay, hold on. There's that room. And is it over here? No. It's not over here. Wait a minute. Where the hell is it? I was dying like multiple times and I kept falling into it. I haven't even messed with any of this stuff. I mean, that's... that's I just... I was just clearing out as quick as I could. Oh, there's some more torches here. I'll take those. Uh, I was just clearing out. Just just throwing down torch. Oh, there it is. Here it is. Here it is. See? This one's got armor and stuff on it. So I'm wondering if I, if I can get, like, silk touch. Maybe break it. Or maybe dolly it, maybe? I think a dolly will work on these. Just dolly this bad boy. And, um, like, put it in a, mo put it in a mob farm. Where the hell is the stairs for this place? I know there's stairs. I hate these dungeons. I really do. Okay, there's the entrance. This leads over here. This takes me to here. Okay. There's stairs here somewhere, so bear with me. That leads me nowhere. That leads me to there. That leads me here. Then over here. Okay, that's the anvil area, which I haven't done anything with, to be honest with you. Okay, I'm, I may have to use my teleporter. On the journey map, you can teleport. Um, be, be truthful with you, that's why I died about like five times, because I teleported to, back to my stuff, and I wound up dying. <laughs> because uh, I just teleported right back to the zombie that killed me. So, uh, yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to teleport there. So, uh, for this recording, uh, just like some, some of the Minecrafters you may know, I'm going to use my teleporter. And I'm only going to use the... Uh, is there anything down there? It doesn't look like there's anything that could attack me right now. So, uh, I'm going to use it for this, lep, for this uh, recording. And after that, I can't use this teleport again, so I have to... Crawl my ass out of here. Look at this. Life Drain Scepter. Mind, mind, mid damage laser drains health. Oh, Iron Horse Armor. It's pretty cool. So, uh, this is where I've been. There are still monsters about, so I am going to be on my tippy toes here. I don't want to die. Yeah, see, there's still. 
There's still monsters here somewhere. Oh! Hello! Hello! Ah, oh, great. I'm poisoned. This is what I'm talking about. This is, like, ridiculous. Why would you give a monster that has tele... That can poison you? Come on. Come on. Ah! Oh, that's how strong they are. And they keep po teleporting. God dang it. So, there's one of my bigger problems. That right there is they keep... T they keep spawning in. And I think... I'm going to have to wind up using the keep inventory, uh, keep inventory one. Did I make two of these? Oh god, no wonder I was messed up. Is this the, no, that's the warp book. Oh, I don't need the warp book. Bad idea. I'm looking for a, t looking for a weapon, which I don't have any, to be honest with you. Ah. Uh, Dang it. I did upgrade my f my my uh, tool forge here, so if I needed to, I could uh, I could do some stuff, but I really don't want to. I mean, my stuff is safe. My stuff is safe because it's inside the, the gravestone, so there is that. So... <sighs> Okay, well, I think this is a good place to wrap it up, because I'm trying my best not to uh, exceed my limits now uh, for my um, for my recording purposes. Uh, it also just pretty much helps out. See, this just says white, cobblestone, white. See, if you look up at the top, it says um, mine factory reloaded. But I made this with the chisel. So I guess the chisel just, like, uses any type of block you can, you can produce. That's pretty interesting. Interesting. I'll have to see, see more about that. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Likes and comments are greatly appreciated. Damn you, Soul Frey. I gotta wait a little while. Uh, but thanks so much for watching, guys. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what I'm doing right. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, and FYI, there is now a rooster that comes over to the girlfriend's house. Because that's where I do my recording at. Because I live with my girlfriend. And uh, if you hear a rooster in the background it's not my fault he comes over here in the around this time every day and I can't get rid of him I don't know how I take him back and he just keeps coming back it's ridiculous anyways I named him at dumbass because he's a dumbass I don't know if you can hear him right now I mean I'll, I'll try to make it so you can't hear him but anyways thanks guys I'll talk to you later bye